Now, how in the world can you fit everything in here? Into a laptop bag? A small backpack? Or another personal item? Flying on a budget airline and only taking a personal item is one of the most absolute easiest ways to save money on your travels. I've done this more times than I can account and even lived out of a Jansport backpack for four months of the last year. You may think I'm crazy, but I promise you'll never be able to believe how much I was able to pack in my personal item. During that four month period, I brought clothes that kept me comfortable in negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit weather. That's a 117 degrees Fahrenheit temperature difference, and all I had was this Jansport. I lived out of this bag continuously for two and a half months, only 34 liters. My method is tried and tested, and I've never had any airline say anything to me about how much I've brought on, even Ryanair and Spirit Airlines. Welcome to Luke Salwia, the place to learn how to live and travel better. In this video, I'll share how to pack way more than what's allowed into a personal item so you can save money. I've saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars this way, and you can do it too. First, let's figure out exactly what the requirements are. Here are what each airline defines as the size of a personal item. Airlines often have a bin for you to put your bag into to make sure it fits the dimensions. By the end of the video, I'll have packed my bag with everything I could possibly need. I'll test my bag in the Spirit Airlines bin. In order to pack best to defeat our enemy, the gate agent, you need some good offense, some good defense, and some strategy. A strong defense means selectively choosing what to bring. If you've seen my video on how to choose where to travel to next, you'll know I prioritize visiting friends and family. Another great benefit is that they probably have a laundry machine you can use. Washing clothes while away from home is my least favorite thing to do. It sucks. Laundromats suck because you never want to leave your clothes longer than they need to. And hostels and hotels charge crazy rates, defeating the point of saving money by taking fewer clothes. Friends and family already have a process that's set up that's safe. You can leave the clothes in the washing machine after the process is over. If you're curious on ways to meet people when going abroad, check out my video on ways to meet people when going abroad for study abroad. If you already know where you're going to be and when, plan how many clothes to bring based around wash cycles. If you only need five pairs of clothes because you can frequently wash your clothes at friends' places, don't pack more than what you need. If you have huge gaps of time between when you're staying with friends or staying in a hostel or a hotel, maybe you should set aside some time to wash your clothes or book an Airbnb that comes with a washing machine. A private washing machine here and there makes all the difference. And remember, don't pack more than what you need. Now that you've packed less, let's move on to the offensive side. Now that you've decided what to bring, you have to choose how to bring it. You may have something in mind like this lady, but I promise you'll be much more comfortable than this. The first step is to find a durable bag that easily folds away to save space. I use a reusable grocery bag as these are made to be reused and are thus more durable. In Texas, I use this green HEB bag and in Denmark, I use a Lidl bag. This is the key to bringing way more than what's allowed onto a plane. Next, pull out your big bulky items like a jacket or coat. You'll wear these to save space in your personal item. If it's going to be hot, just know you only have to wear these clothes when you scan your boarding pass at the gate. Any other time, like going through security or while on the plane, you can put your jacket away in the extra bag. You can also carry more things in that bag onto the plane with you. Now be careful here. There is a chance that the gate agent tells you you can only bring one bag onto the plane, and we'll discuss this scenario in a minute. I've flown many budget airlines, like Ryanair, Spirit, EasyJet, Frontier, and AirAsia, and this has only happened to me once, on Ryanair. Most of the time, having a personal item and an extra bag is totally okay. But here's your action plan in case you're called out for having two bags. Use the pockets in your jacket. I come from Texas and never really needed a jacket before I lived in Denmark. And when one of my friends came to visit me, he realized having a large jacket was like coming with your car. You have so much space to store stuff. You can carry a lot of items with you onto the plane. And before you tell me, Michael, this sucks. I don't wanna walk around the airport with so many things in my pockets. Remember, you have that bag with you. Use that bag. Put your other things in the bag and there's a decent chance the gate agent won't tell you anything, especially if you tell them it's just a jacket in the bag. 
Of course, make sure the jacket covers everything else. If you can't easily fit everything else into your jacket, what can you do? Yep, you guessed it. The fanny pack! I carry my toiletry items in that fanny pack. And if I needed to, I can clip it on my waist to walk past the gate agent. Most of the time, I just keep it in my jacket. But if needed to, it's a super easy way to make extra space and you only need to do this when walking past the gate agent. With all of these tactics, you can pack a lot more than you could with just the original dimensions of a personal item. So now that you've made it past the gate agent, what's next? Here are two tactics to enhance this experience. The first is done after boarding the plane. When I traveled with my Jansport, it fit underneath the airplane seat. It wasn't comfortable, but it fit. My new Osprey bag doesn't fit underneath the seat, even though it fits in the personal item bin. To solve this, board earlier on and put your bag above, which is comfier. Then you won't have any problems with the flight attendants and the bag. The second is beforehand. Here are a couple of space saving items I have and love that give me even more space. The first is a microfiber towel, which is small and dries quickly. Excellent for traveling because it sucks to travel with a wet towel. My favorite microfiber towel is linked below in the description. Another tactic is to use small plastic bottles to store shampoo, body wash, and face wash. I take the small bottles along the way and refill them at hostels or hotels if I'm not staying with friends and family. You can find these at any store, like Target in the US or Flying Tiger in Europe. All right, now I'll show you how I've packed my bag and put it in a Spirit Airlines bin at the airport. Here is a packing list that I've brought on this month long trip. I have 12 days worth of clothes. On this list, I'll wear the items in red. And in green is everything I'll bring in my reusable bag and be prepared to put in my jacket. Everything else should fit into your bag, your personal item. Fully packed and ready with using a bag, I look like this. Fully packed and ready without using a bag, I look like this. It's the same amount of stuff. Okay, off to the airport, this time Boston Logan, to put my backpack into the bin. It fits. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to stay updated with future videos.